Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Point. Happy Friday friends, I hope you had an amazing week and you are as excited as I am for this weekend. I'm always here for the weekend. Today we're going to be talking all about my week, recapping how that was, setting some goals for next week. We'll chat about this week's WW workshop topic. Spoiler alert, I love this topic. And of course, I'll be sharing this week's weigh-in. So if you're excited, don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, because I do a weigh-in, workshop topic, goal setting video every single Friday, and I upload five days a week. So make sure your notification bell is turned on as well. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching if you want to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite healthy things and my Facebook group. Come on over, join us there. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's jump in to this week's weigh-in, workshop topic, goal setting, and weekly recap. <laughs> I hope you had an absolutely amazing, amazing week. I had a great week, a very busy week. Very, very busy. This Sunday, I'll be sharing with you an interesting video. I have a huge, and I mean huge, massive, ginormous life update coming your way this Sunday. I'm going to be sharing with you what's been happening in my life, as well as what I'm doing moving forward in life and with this channel. So definitely make sure that you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you don't miss Sunday's video. With all of these changes, life has been really busy, but life's been really good. Like I mentioned last week, my energy is back. I am feeling fantastic. I've also noticed something new this week, and that's that I just don't need as much sleep. I used to sleep eight, nine hours a night. Now I can get by on six or seven hours of sleep, feel refreshed in the morning when I wake up, and I can make it through my day just fine. So I don't know if that plays a part with my thyroid medication, the foods that I'm eating, or maybe just continuing to lose weight if I'm just not needing as much sleep as before which is coming in really handy with how insane busy I've been. I tried some new snacks, some new foods this last week, which was great. I found some new favorite ways to prepare things. I shared a really healthy protein packed way to make tuna salad in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. I'll link that video down below if you haven't seen it. This tuna salad is a game changer. It is so good, so healthy, and so low point. This week I also shared some fun non-scale victories over on my Facebook group, so make sure you're part of our community over there. That's the best way to to keep up with me day to day, that in Instagram. One of the pictures I posted really caught me off guard, caught me by surprise. My husband took this picture of me, Palmer and Lola just sitting on the couch relaxing on Sunday before my challenge Zoom call. And when I saw the picture, I was kind of blown away, shocked a little bit, surprised at how thin I look. I forget that my body has changed so much, especially in the last few months. And it's always a little bit surprising and shocking to see myself in a photo. Before I lost weight, I would hate having my photo taken. I would have told my husband not to include me in the photo. As I'm continuing to lose weight, I'm gaining more confidence in myself and I'm okay having my photo taken. And really I use it as a tool to see my progress because sometimes the scale doesn't show me my progress, but the photos absolutely do. Photos and clothes, that's how you're going to see your progress. Speaking of clothes, I am so close, so close to 90 pounds lost. Once I hit 90 pounds down, we are doing a closet clean out. I'm cleaning out my closet, I'm getting rid of all of my fat clothes, and they're never coming back because this girl is keeping this weight off for good. Lots of good things happening this week, lots of things happening, lots of busyness a little bit of stress, but overall I'm happy with my week and I'm looking forward to this next week as things in my life start to solidify and come into place a little bit more and I can continue to focus on my healthy weight loss journey. I'm excited to share this week's weigh-in with you, but before I do, I wanna talk about this week's WW workshop topic because honestly, this is one of my favorite topics in I don't know how long, years. And that is to set a weight goal that works for you. We all have grand plans for losing weight. We all know what the BMI chart says our ideal weight should be. We all know what WW says our ideal weight should be. But is that the weight that's best 
for us. Is that the goal weight that's best for you? It can be pretty overwhelming, especially if you're like myself and you had a lot of weight to lose in the beginning. It can be daunting and overwhelming to even think about the end goal or your goal weight. So today we're going to talk about some tips and tricks from WW on how to break down that overwhelming process and get to what is an ideal weight goal for you. Tip number one is to make sure whatever goal weight you have in mind is safe and is sustainable for you. Sustainable is the key takeaway here. We might have an ideal goal weight of something that maybe we can hit, maybe, and maybe it'll last a month or two, and then we're going to be up five, six, 10 pounds. Make sure whatever goal weight you're choosing is sustainable. Nothing is more discouraging than getting to your goal weight and within a week or two, gaining a couple of pounds because that goal weight just wasn't safe and sustainable. Think about losing one to two pounds a week, no more than that. Don't set yourself up for failure right out of the gate. Make sure the amount of weight that you're setting yourself up to lose every week is safe. Tip number two is to have a goal that is realistic for you. Maybe you're going on vacation or you have a life event coming up that may slow your progress in your weight loss a little bit. You might even want to put your weight loss on hold for a minute. Just factor all of this in when planning when you're going to reach your weight loss goal and what your weight loss goal is. And number three, this is really important and that is to set small goals. Set a smaller number to focus on in the beginning. If you're like me and you had a have or had over 100 pounds to lose, saying I'm gonna lose 100 pounds is really overwhelming. How about starting with the first 10 pounds or 20 pounds or five or 10% of your excess weight. That's a smaller, more attainable goal. You're going to keep motivated and excited as you reach these smaller goals with which inevitably ends up to you reaching your big goal. And number four is to check in with yourself often. Reevaluate, how are you doing? How is it going? How are you doing with that smaller goal that's leading to that bigger goal? Is it actually working for you? Is it safe? Is it sustainable? Is it something that you can stick with? Check in with yourself at least once a month to make sure what you're doing is working. And if it's not, this is the time to make a change. It's totally normal to have dream digits, digits of your overall weight loss goal. But I highly, highly encourage you to stay away from the BMI chart as much as possible. It's out of date. It's not realistic for most people. Now, some people can get to the low end, middle of the road or high end of their weight goal on the BMI chart but it's really hard to sustain that weight loss goal. Even the goals WW can set for us may be unattainable. My recommendation for you would be to have a conversation with your doctor and ask them based on your age, your body type, how your body's made up. Are you a larger framed person or a petite framed person? What is your activity level? What are your genetics? Talk with your doctor to see what is a realistic weight loss goal for you. And remember, you can bring your doctor's you can bring your doctor's weight loss goal for you into WW and they will allow you to have that be your weight loss goal and allow you to enter into maintenance if that is something that you're excited about doing. Whether you want to lose 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, make sure you're setting yourself up for success by having smaller goals. And more importantly, in the big biggest takeaway from today's video is to make sure that whatever goal you have is safe and sustainable. Sustainable is the takeaway. I really like this topic and I think this topic is well, well needed in the WW or really any weight loss community. We can often set ourselves up for a weight loss goal that isn't attainable for us. So it's really important to make sure whatever goal you set, you do in small increments and that it's something you can reach and maintain without being unhealthy and restricting your calories too much. Highly, highly recommend talking with your doctor about your weight loss goal. But now it's time to jump in to this week weigh-in. This is the final weigh-in for February. So I will go ahead and put here on the screen my weigh-in for this week, how much I've lost in the month of February, and how much weight I've lost overall. I have lost weight every single week in February. The last couple of weeks, it's been just under a pound, 0.8. I was on my cycle this last week, which contributed to that, I'm sure. When I stepped on the scale today, I am down 1.6 pounds. 1.6, that is just under two pounds lost this week, which I am so incredibly excited about. I feel like it is well, well, well well-deserved. And like I said, it's super exciting, but I am so close, so close to hitting 90 pounds down that I'm just itching, itching to get there. So for the month of February, I lost a total of 4.3 pounds. That's great. My goal is about five pounds a month. 
and I have lost 89.3 pounds. That is ounces away from hitting 90 pounds down and ounces away from a closet clean out. So I am on a mission, a mission to hit 90 pounds down by the first weigh-in in March. I know that I can do it. It's ounces. If I I'll stick with my workout routine. I'll stick with eating good, whole, real, unprocessed foods for the majority of my meals, focusing on lots of protein, lower carbohydrates, and I know, I know I can hit it next week. I'm also excited to start March off with a bang. I want to make March a great month for weight loss for me, and I'm just really excited. If you can't tell about reaching such a huge milestone for myself and just continuing to inch closer and closer to my weight loss goal, I've been seeing a lot of questions on my Facebook group here on YouTube of people asking me what I've been doing differently. They're noticing my weight loss results and they want to know what I'm doing. Now I have put out a couple of videos, one with a health update, kind of letting you know what was going on with my health. I also did a Q and A video where I answered your questions on what I've been doing and kind of gave you an update. So I'll make sure that those videos are linked down below. The best way to keep up with me and kind of know what I'm doing is to number one, subscribe and turn your bell on. So you're notified when I upload YouTube, isn't the best at putting out notifications. So that's the best way to know when I'm uploading and keep up with me and kind of know what I'm doing to be successful. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know what you thought of this week's workshop topic. Let me know what your thoughts are on setting a goal weight and how you're setting your goal weight for you. Did you gain? Did you lose this week? How was your week overall? Definitely, definitely let me know down below. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course my Facebook group. Come on over and join us. Stay tuned for a grocery haul tomorrow, the huge update video coming on Sunday, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye.